In the quiet lanes of our small, conservative town, where every gaze felt like a judgment, I found my escape in TikTok. My name is Enola, and I never imagined that my tiny digital window to the world would shatter the peace of my real one. Have you seen the views on your last video, Enola? My friend Lily buzzed with excitement as we sat in our favorite cafe. I smiled, sipping my coffee. Yeah, it's crazy. I just wanted to speak my mind, you know? Empower others like us. Lily nodded. You're doing something important, showing that we have voices too. The conversation took a sudden turn when Dad stormed in. His face, usually calm and reserved, was twisted in anger. Enola, we need to talk. Now. His voice, low and demanding, silenced the cafe. I followed him outside, feeling the weight of every stare. What's wrong, Dad? He thrust his phone in my face, displaying my TikTok profile. This. This is what's wrong. You're bringing shame to our family with these, these rebellious videos. I took a deep breath. It's not about rebellion, Dad. It's about expression. I'm helping people. Helping? By flaunting yourself and our family values for the whole world to see? You will stop this nonsense immediately. I shook my head, standing firm. No, Dad. I'm not doing anything wrong. I won't stop. His eyes narrowed, and his voice dropped to a dangerous whisper. You have no idea what you're inviting upon yourself, Enola. This will end, one way or another. Shaken, I returned to Lily, who had witnessed everything. Enola, are you okay? What did he say? I sighed. He wants me to stop my videos. Thinks they're shameful. Lily frowned. But they're about empowerment, about change. You can't stop now. I won't, I affirmed. But I'm worried about what Dad might do. The next few days were a whirlwind. My TikTok account blew up. Comments pouring in from supporters and detractors alike. But at home, a storm was brewing. One evening, as I was editing a new video, Dad barged into my room, his face red with rage. This is your last warning, Enola. Stop these videos, or I'll stop you. I stood up, facing him. I'm not doing anything wrong, Dad. I won't stop. He stepped closer, his voice venomous. You are my daughter, under my roof. You will obey me, or you'll regret it. I could feel the threat hanging in the air, a dark cloud ready to burst. I am your daughter, but I'm also my own person, Dad. I have a right to my voice. He stormed out, slamming the door behind him, leaving me trembling but determined. My phone pinged with a new comment on TikTok, a reminder of the world outside that was listening to me, relying on me. I knew then that this wasn't just about my videos anymore. It was about standing up to control, to fear. It was about being Enola, in every way possible. The air in our little town seemed heavier these days, each day dawning with a silent question mark. As I, Enola, juggled the rising tension at home with my growing TikTok presence, life felt like walking a tightrope. One afternoon, at Mr. Harrison's bookshop, I found solace in quiet conversation. You're walking a tough path, Enola, Mr. Harrison, my mentor, remarked as he sorted through old books. I know, but I can't just back down, can I? My voice matters. He nodded. Indeed it does. But you must be prepared for every outcome. Document everything. You never know when you might need evidence. His words struck a chord. I started keeping a journal, secretly recording Dad's behavior, the veiled threats, the angry outbursts. Every word felt like an armor, a shield against the unseen. At Lily's house, my friends gathered, a small army of support. We need a plan, Enola, Lily said, her voice laced with concern. If things escalate, we'll have a safe place for you to stay, just in case. Mia, another friend, chimed in. I smiled, feeling a surge of gratitude. Thanks, guys. I just hope it doesn't come to that. But as days passed, Dad's demeanor darkened. One evening, he found me filming a new TikTok. Turning this house into a circus for your follies, he sneered. I won't have it. I looked up, camera still rolling. It's not a circus, Dad. It's my life, my views. You're under my roof, Enola. You'll follow my rules. The unspoken ultimatum hung in the air, thick and suffocating. I turned off the camera, my heart racing. Late at night, under the dim light of my desk lamp, I continued my silent rebellion, editing and posting videos. Each post felt like a small victory, a whisper of defiance against the growing storm. One day at the cafe, 
I overheard a conversation. She's just seeking attention. It's disgraceful, a woman muttered, eyeing me with disdain. Another added, Poor father, having to deal with such a daughter. Their words stung, but I refused to let them see. I focused on my laptop, editing my next video. This was more than just a personal battle now. It was about standing up for everyone who ever felt silenced. Back home, the tension escalated. Dad stormed into my room, his face a mask of fury. You've brought shame upon us all, Enola. This ends now. I stood up, facing him squarely. No, Dad, it doesn't. I won't be bullied into silence. You leave me no choice then. We'll see how you continue your little rebellion without any of this. He reached for my laptop, his hands like claws. In a split second, I grabbed it away. You can't take this. It's my lifeline, my truth. He backed off, but his eyes bore a warning. We're not done, Enola. This is not over. That night, I lay awake, thoughts racing. I knew this was far from over. The next day, I reached out to Mr. Harrison again. I'm scared, but I won't stop, I confessed. What should I do? Be smart, Enola. Keep documenting. Stay strong. And remember, you're not alone in this. His words were a balm to my frayed nerves. The battle lines were drawn, and I was ready. Ready to fight for my voice, my truth. The shadow of threat loomed large, but so did my resolve. This was my story, and I was determined to write every chapter of it. Darkness had fallen over our home, both literally and metaphorically. The ticking of the clock in the living room was like a countdown to an unknown finale. I, Enola, sat in my room, the weight of the impending storm heavy in my heart. It happened on a night that felt like any other, until it wasn't. The door to my room flew open, and there stood Dad, his face contorted with rage unlike anything I had seen before. This ends tonight, Enola. I warned you. I backed away, my heart pounding. What are you talking about, Dad? He advanced, a menacing figure. You've pushed me too far. It's time you learned your lesson. Fear gripped me, but my voice remained steady. You can't intimidate me into silence. This isn't right. He grabbed my arm, his grip iron. You're my daughter. You'll do as I say. In that moment, survival kicked in. I wrenched free, my other hand reaching for my phone. I'm not your property, Dad. I won't let you do this. He lunged again. But I dodged, bolting out of the room and into the night. My breaths were heavy, sobs caught in my throat, but I kept running. The lights of the police station were a beacon in my blur of tears. I burst through the doors, gasping for air. I need help. My father. He tried to hurt me. The officers reacted immediately, their voices a distant echo as I struggled to compose myself. We need to take your statement, miss. Can you tell us what happened? I nodded, recounting the events, my voice a mix of fear and defiance. I have evidence, recordings of his threats. The officers listened, their expressions a mix of concern and resolve. We'll handle this, miss. You're safe here. The night turned into a whirlwind of flashing lights and hushed conversations. I sat there, in the cold embrace of the police station, a part of me feeling detached from the chaos. Enola, you did the right thing coming here. I looked up to see Mr. Harrison, his face etched with worry. I had to. I couldn't let him. I couldn't stay silent. He nodded. You're brave more than you know. This will change things. And it did. The news of my father's arrest spread like wildfire, igniting conversations across social media. My TikTok became a beacon for those who had faced similar battles, a rallying point for voices long suppressed. Have you seen this, Enola? Lily showed me her phone, the screen filled with messages of support. People are standing with you. You've started something big. I scrolled through the comments, each word a testament to the fight I had taken on. It was no longer just my story. It had become a narrative of many, a chorus of the unheard and the unseen. But amidst the support, there were also those who criticized, who blamed me for tearing my family apart. I read their words, a sting in each letter, but I knew my truth. I knew the path I had chosen was not one of destruction, but of liberation. As the sun rose on a new day, I realized that this was just the beginning. The battle at home may have reached its climax, but the war for my voice, for our voices, was far from over. I was Enola, a symbol of defiance, a beacon of hope, and my journey had just begun.
The courtroom was a stark contrast to the familiar surroundings of my small town. There I was, Enola, not just a daughter or a TikTok creator, but a symbol of a battle against oppression. The air was thick with anticipation, with the weight of judgment hanging over us. As I took the stand, my heart raced, but my resolve was steady. My voice echoed in the hushed room, recounting the events, the threats, my father's attempts to silence me. My hands trembled slightly, holding the recordings, the journal entries, each a piece of my armor. You have been very brave, Enola, the prosecutor said, his tone respectful. Your evidence is compelling. From the corner of my eye, I saw Dad, the defendant. His face, once the portrait of rage, now etched with something akin to regret. Or was it just defeat? The defense made their case, painting a picture of misunderstanding, of familial discord. But the truth in my words, in my evidence, was undeniable. The jury's deliberation felt like an eternity. When the verdict came, it was like a dam breaking. Guilty, they said. And with that word, a chapter of my life closed, and another opened. Dad was given a chance to speak. He stood, his eyes meeting mine. Enola, I... I'm sorry, I never meant to... I cut him off, my voice calm but firm. Your apologies mean nothing now, Dad. You made your choices. He looked down, the finality in my voice a clear sentence in itself. Back home, I was met with an outpouring of support. Friends, strangers, people who had followed my story, all sharing their words, their stories. You've become a hero, Enola, Lily said, her eyes shining with pride. I smiled, feeling a sense of accomplishment, but also a deep responsibility. It's not just about me anymore. It's about all of us who've been silenced. My phone buzzed continuously, notifications from TikTok, messages of gratitude, of empowerment. I realized then that my journey had just begun. I was no longer just fighting for myself. I was fighting for a cause. I sat down in my room, the familiar space where it all began. The camera was set up, just like it had been countless times before. But this time... It felt different. I was different. Hey everyone, it's Enola here, I began, my voice steady, my heart full. I want to talk about victory, not just mine, but ours. The words flowed, a river of thoughts, experiences, lessons learned. I spoke of empowerment, of the importance of standing up for oneself, of the strength in unity. As I fought my battle, I realized we all have our struggles, our fights, but remember, you're not alone. We're not alone. Together we can overcome. We can rise. The video ended, but the conversation was just starting. Comments poured in, a cascade of voices joining the chorus. Sitting there, in the soft glow of my desk lamp, I felt a deep sense of purpose. My story, my fight, had ignited something powerful, something unstoppable. This was just the beginning. I was Enola, a voice for the unheard, a beacon for the oppressed. My journey had taught me the power of resilience, the strength in defiance, and the beauty in empowerment. The camera was off, but my voice would continue to echo, a testament to victory, to triumph. This was my story, and it was far from over. The story of Enola has reached its conclusion. But before you go, here's a question for you. If you were in Enola's shoes, would you have refused your father's apology at the end, or would you have accepted it to mend the relationship? This decision isn't just about forgiveness. It's a statement about standing up for oneself and the consequences of toxic behavior. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey with Enola, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more compelling stories. Your support means we can continue sharing stories that make us think, feel, and question. Thank you for being part of this story's journey.